I mean, if you look at its symmetry, it might be more female shaped. I mean, it's got hips, it's got lumps and bumps. It's concrete, it's hard, it's tough. It's a fucking girl, man. Uh, things of beauty, grace and speed are often referred to in the feminine gender. It's a girl. It's Miss Rosa Park. <laughs> She's a, she's a lady and she's beautiful. I was probably 10 years old. The park wasn't even open yet. And I was just, you know, me and my brother would walk down here and we'd just sit at the little, you know, fence they had, the construction fence, because it wasn't open to the public. And just dream about going in and, you know, skating around, being a little kid. I could tell, like, this was a family and it's just me and Finn, me and my little boy, and like that, like immediately attracted me to like whatever was happening here. Stop beaming the camera. Where's the hype? Where's the hype? Where's the hype? Oh. Ah. Really, I still get the same like feeling when I'm driving up, like get excited, nervous, scared, happy, like. You get that weird feeling in your bones, like, you know, almost like, like when you drop in on a roller coaster or something, it's like, here we go, dude, every time, still to this day, when I pull in the parking lot, it's the same shit. It's, it's special because this is one place that people, a lot of people feel comfortable coming to because when you come here, there's there's always going to be someone that you know, so your friends, your family. There's always going to be a homie there to support you. There's always going to be a session. There's always going to be some learning. There's always going to be ripping. It's hard to skate, really, and it's lumpy and weird, but I don't know. It's funny. It's like this. It's it's people that live in Santa Rosa. It's definitely like our our pride, you know. It's got some magic for sure. It's unlike any skate park I've ever seen before. It's unique. Well, it's definitely not like a normal skate park, and it's it's spines and hips. They're all different, so you can't just say hit the corner or hit the corridor. Or... There's really no framework for the way that it's designed. I think that's why we came up with the different names for some of the different features there. It's a geographical reference, a way to talk to other people that skate there and describe a certain lump or a certain bump or a certain line. It's necessary. Some of the names are pretty funny. I, I don't think anything else. Or the French fry, obviously. You know, the curve, maybe the long curve, the French fry, but. Um, the French fry, because it looks like a fucking French fry. Well, the French fry and potato, which <laughs> is pretty comical to me. Uh, Slayer. There's Slayer, there's Slayer. How'd I forget? Fucking element, dude. Tim, man. <laughs> That's like the oldest one. Like that, that was probably the first one that was really named, you know? I feel like. Jay's hip, like that one little hip by the bowl, someone told me that was like Joel Price's like spot. Like he did shit like over it, so it was called Jay's hip. Jay's hip is because there was like three Jays that used to hit that hip, and that's pretty much their hip, pretty much, and uh... All I know is, for whatever reason, Iron Maiden is called Iron Maiden because whatever back in the day, someone tagged, or I guess not tagging, spray painted like Iron Maiden with like an Iron Cross. Okay, that was Iron Maiden. I just drove by it and it was there and I saw all these people skating there and I just happened to have my skateboard in the car and my buddy Gomer, from Ukiah, we'd stop there and we'd skated it for a minute and I was like, holy shit, like this is the most amazing thing. Once I got a taste, it was, you know, I had to like get back there. So my shitty car broke down and I had a buddy that worked out at Bodega Marine Labs as a, an intern there and he would drive down and I would literally, whatever day I wasn't working at Rayleigh's Bag and Groceries, I would hop in his car, 
he needed to be there at like eight in the morning, get dropped off at like eight in the morning and be there till like five o'clock when he got done and just skate there all day. And that's kind of like how I met everybody. I mean, you know, like when I was younger, this place was my babysitter. When I got older, I met lifelong friends. Now I still come and hang out, still come and skate. I, I, I'd say their money was damn well invested, man. You're not gonna go to a playground and see a 30, 31 year old dude hanging out with other 31 year old dudes been like, oh yeah, I remember when this place opened 20, 20 something years ago and we're still kicking it here, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, oh dude, you should see how many pull ups I do now. <laughs> like, come on, dude. <laughs> You know, I mean, I don't know how many kids I pulled out of bowls or helped because they fell down and, you know, scraped their knee or something. And they're, and, I, and that's the same with all the dudes, you know, like most of the, the, the guys are pretty upstanding and they might look a little gruff and sketchy, but they're, all of them are good dudes, you know. The skateboard is sort of a tool to navigate this environment, this world we call San Rosa Skate Park. And we take something that is a little bit ugly at first glance and we adorn it, we decorate it, and we find a way to have fun and make it beautiful and have an amazing experience there. Yeah, aside from just the, you know the physical and creative aspects of skating or you know, whatever you want to call this, WCMX, it's, uh, it's really the community. And I don't know if this is something like particular to the skate park here in Rosa or I'm, I'm sure it's you know in parks or spots all over the all over the world. You know, you've got your crew. It's people you grew up with with the same common interests, and and with skateboarding in, in particular, the, the common interest. You know, you're kind of pushing yourself and your each other to do better. You know, you've got this clear objective in mind, so you've got this one trick you want to do or this one part you want to film. You know, you, it's really just up to you and you've got you know your community backing you and really throwing their support behind you and getting excited and like wanting to see you succeed it's really big it's, it's amazing <laughs> <laughs>